Well, when you realize a UFC title shot at 170 pounds, that is saying something. Most people would argue this is as deep as any division in the UFC. And this man, undeniably the number one contender as he makes the walk tonight. He has separated himself from the pack. The only person left is the champion. He has done everything necessary to be viewed as a guy that could hold this championship belt. Now's his moment. He has got to lock in for 25 minutes because it's gonna take all of that 25 to beat this great champion. Big spot for this young man tonight. Well, and a lot of his UFC experience, he believes is gonna help him in this setting. He's been measured with his energy all week. Nerves do not appear to be an issue. We'll see if by night's end we have a new champ. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shimaev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shimaev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. Tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> inside the octagon. Good. All right, Hamza Chimaya back on the proven ground, and you can hear the crowd response with everything that this man does. If he gets a takedown, a huge pop. If he lands a jab, a huge pop. A lot of people feel like in this matchup, though, Hamza's going to be trying to take the fight to the ground and to work his submission game from there. Let us see how Hamza approaches the early portions of this particular round. Leg kick. And there's a takedown attempt. Lands a big right hand early. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Takedown defense is there. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's trying to find that shot again. That guillotine is tight. 
Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh, my goodness. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Tom Zanchi might have getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. He's got to start throwing now. Setting up for an arm lock now. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, he's out of danger. What? Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, sit down. Take a deep breath. All right, get him some water. Drink. Right, slow that heart rate down. All right. Here we go. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to, to try to change the way Ready. that this fight is going. Good. All right, round two. Oh, and he goes to the hook now. It's good. Nice defense there. Huge block. Come on, man. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Right above the eye. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, clean hook there. Oh, nice body shot. Finds his range with the jab. All right, there it is. He stuffs yet another takedown. And not a bad attempt by the wrestler, but he hasn't realized any success with his takedown game thus far. No, you know, sometimes, John, it's not enough. You can do it. Oh, huge shot. Finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, nice level take. Well, ground and pound 101, and now you start to see some swelling appear. Lands the ground and pound strike. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Big shots. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Short elbow, short elbow. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Keep working and give me those elbows. 
Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. She Shemayev's right back to the full mount. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike, so the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Now they separate. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. You can't shoot. you got to set your opponent up to get that computer. Oh, you got to be careful there. Yep. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? These ground strikes are starting to add up. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, he passes. The oh, he's got a choke. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Nice positional control here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. And now he's got the back. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh. That's three rounds. Oh. We're now headed to the championship rounds. So there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, 
to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number five. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. All right, so he's landed a great timing on that double leg. Beautiful level change. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. We march on three minutes to go. All right, take your time, take your time, relax, breathe. Yep, got to be very relax careful there. Move, move, move. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Under a minute now to go. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Shimaev's in half guard now. Get the ball here. Shimaev's going for a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Strikes nicely here from top position. The buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? You ready? Fifth and final round. Big power shot there. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Single leg takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nice strike from bottom position. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent is trying to do. 
Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, right into mount. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Lands with the ground and pound here. Great work here from the bottom fighter. All right, so he gets back to the feet. That was seemingly the only way he could win this fight. Down the stretch we come. Down the stretch, but on the feet. He was not going to win this fight from his back. He needed to get up. That was step number one. Step two, find the finish. All oh, out oh, action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, Ladies decision, and gentlemen, decision after is now five in. Rounds, Here is Bruce we go Buffett. to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed USC Walter Wright champion of the world. All right, so the Chechen Swede, Hamza Chimaya, if you're winner by decision, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. More often than not, he doesn't need to hear those judges' scorecards, but a clean effort nonetheless from Chimaya tonight. Yeah, but it needs...